Just off the highway to Rochester, Minnesota, twilight bounds softly falls on the grass, and the eyes of those two Indian ponies darken with kindness. They have come gladly out of the willows to welcome my friend and me. We step over the barbed wire into the pasture where they have been grazing all day long. They ripple tensely. They can hardly contain their happiness that we have come. They bow shyly as wet swans. They laugh each other. There is no loneliness like theirs. At home, once more, they begin munching the young tufts of spring in the darkness. I would like to hold the slender one in my arms, for she has walked over to me and nuzzled my left hand. She is black and white, her mane falls wild on her forehead, and the light breeze moves me to caress her long ear that is delicate as the skin over a girl's wrist. Suddenly I realize that if I stepped out of my body, I would break into me.